Hey hey hey! Welcome everyone to another video of Autodots Gameplay. In this video, I'm going to talk about exit repeat on fail strategy. I'm going to talk about it because I recently thinking about a flaw that I have when I implement the, the current automation system that I already have. And you might see that problem because I've ever mentioned it for the first time when I explaining how I set up the forestry automation. Let's see the chopper brand. Uh, what the chopper does is just chopping the tree and it will stop when the storage is full. As you can see, I implement some kind of like a pattern for my bot brain flow, which basically say that the bot should be stopped if the storage is full. I applied this pattern to all of my bots that do the work in forestry, query, farming and even the research itself. In here I put the forever storage bracket as the wrapper of all of the action. Then inside the forever brackets I have a wait command and another repeat brackets that say repeat until the storage is full. Then inside of the brackets I have all of the bot action itself. For example if the job is chopping the tree it means the bot should get a tool first then if the bot handful the bot will find the tree and chop the tree until the hand is empty which means the tool that are being used by the bot is broken then it will continue the loop until the storage is full however the implementation that i have has a flaw once the storage in here is full the bot didn't immediately stop because their hand is still not yet empty which means the tool that they are used has not broken yet as you can see the lock storage is full that's why the lock mover didn't move but the chopper in here is still chopping the tree and it will do the same action until the tools broken so one result of this flow in this implementation is there's a lot of item that's scattered around the area on the foresty area and has not yet been picked by the bot since the storage is full. I don't want this thing. What I want is when the storage is full then stop all of the action immediately. No matter if the bot has the tool or not. After playing around when I try to build the apple farm, which I, as you can see here, I found small functionality in the bot brain interface called exit repeat on fail. So this is the toggle which basically say exit repeat on fail. On a normal condition, when the bot fails to do their task, like the tools that they are used is not broken, they will repeat the command forever. But when we check the exit repeat on fail box, which is over here or over here or over here, it will make the bot continue to do the next task if the bot fail do the action, like tools is broken when they want to chop all the tree or shake the apple tree to get an apples. Then I think like I might try to use this feature to see if it, it can help me to solve my problem that I described earlier, which is how to make the bot completely stop when the storage is full. And you know what? It can. How? Okay, let me show you one of the bots that already used this new implementation, which is the apple shaker. This is the apple shaker. The job of the apple shaker is to shake the apple tree and stop if the storage is full. As you can see, I still have a forever loops with the wait 5 second command as usual. But inside the brackets, I made some changes. First, I have a brackets that basically say that shake the tree until the storage is full. And next bracket is pick a tool until the bot hand is full. With this new implementation, if somehow the bot failed to shake the tree because the mallet is broken, it will not stop working, but the task inside this bracket will be marked as fail. And the bot goes to the next command, which is move and take the wooden mallet from the storage. I still have some bots that have my flow implementation, and let's compare them. So this is the berry bots. When we empty the storage of the berries, 
All of the bots in here will do their task. That's empty, some of them. So the berry shaker takes the flail over here and start the shaking process. And let's wait until the storage is full. See? The berry shaker still keep doing his job even though the storage is full. And it will keep doing that until the tools that used by the bot is broken. Then it will finally stop. Let's see how it works on the new implementation on the apple farms. Let's take some apples from the storage. And let's wait until the storage is full. So the apple mover uh, will put some apples to the storage and as soon as the storage is full, the apple shaker just stop doing its job. See? The bot stop. And this is the thing that I really looking for. And you know what? It's awesome. However, it doesn't solve issue where you still have some apples scattering around the farm area or some area. But at least by using this implementation, you are not ended up with a lot of apple in the farm. I think that's it for this video. I hope you can have an idea about exit repeat on fail or how to stop the bots when the storage is full. If you find this video helpful, please press like button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my autonomous video in the future. See ya!